Mm-hmm. <laughs> Back. Say hello. I am currently about six miles south of the main part of Siem Reap. <coughs> I've got a little bit of a cough right now. Um, right now, this is a school called ECC. So you can see it says ECC school right here. And these are the classrooms. So there's these desks made out of wood, some whiteboards on the back. You can see that there's some like learning stuff. There's a how to tell time, numbers over there, and there's a box of some um, like learning materials, flashcards, Tim, um, days of the week, animals, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, but this is where the kids come to learn. I'm here is because I'm here as a volunteer. <laughs> I decided to come to volunteer to be an English teacher for kids in Cambodia. 11 a.m. What do we do at 11? Eat? Eat? Now this is the building that is the main part of where the volunteers stay. There's someone here that is um, a cleaner. She is cooking food for us. I think there's actually a couple of them. Um, at this second level here, you can see it says ECC family. Might be kind of far, uh, but there's some dorms. It's kind of like a hostel where there's bunk beds. Uh, it's not air conditioned, which is why I'm not staying there. And <coughs> coming around the back, this is where I've been hanging out. there is a little chill area. So right in the middle, there's like a little moat around this gazebo, a couple chairs and a table. Over here, there's a nice big table with some lounge chairs, nice big pool. <laughs> um, so these are actually some of my friends. They're also volunteers. This is Valentin. <laughs> Hi, America. <laughs> Volunteering is cool. <laughs> <laughs> This is my first time volunteering ever for basically anything. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice to give back. It's nice to do something for free, um, make, a, make some kind of impact, even though I haven't been here long. So I don't know what kind of impact I'm making, but I'm seeing how it works. It's pretty cool. But these are real, these are real volunteers. So. No, but you are a real volunteer as well. Yeah. You think so? We yeah, try to be real. <laughs> <laughs> you guys leaving class? Are you gonna go home? They're volunteering for weeks, going from place to place. Um, what what else have you done other than teaching? Oh. <laughs> or is that all teaching? Is that all teaching? Uh, here? Or Just anywhere. Oh, oh, communication. And I was uh, a gardener as well, but I didn't that before. So, so, but I was a gardener and I, were, I, made, uh, I was volunteer as well in the meditation center. And I did a lot of different activities that I never did it before. So this was good. It's good to you have a positive impact for yourself and for the others. So it's good. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. Friday. <laughs> it's funny, actually, how I met all of them. 
I was just at a bar in the main part of Siem Reap, and we literally just sat at the same table, and they told me that they were volunteering. With yeah, no, tears in crazy. our hands, <laughs> and with cheers, and the day after, you're here. <laughs> yeah, they told me they were volunteering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't process That's yet. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> past the pool. There's all this like chill area, lots of chairs and tables, lots of trees, which I really like, all the greenery. And then back here, these are the bungalows. So this is my bungalow. And right when you walk in the door, it's just a, a small room. Uh, there's a little sink here. I'll show you my toothbrush. Or you can see my toothbrush stuff is right here because in the bathroom the faucet doesn't work so we have a shower a bucket a toilet mirror and that's about it and then there are two rooms so this is my room the reason i'm staying in here is because of the ac it actually is very very effective ac there we go. It's actually very effective AC. I'm very happy about that. There's also a fan, but I haven't even needed it because the AC works well. But you can see it's not much. Literally, it's just a bed, a couple shelves, one power outlet, and all my stuff. The lady just did my laundry. It cost two dollars. It's pretty nice. Uh, she got it back same day. I gave it to her this morning, and she just gave it back to me. So yeah, in one hour, the kids are gonna arrive to school, and we're gonna be teaching them. Hello. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. So so bye. Good. So so bye. It gets kind of wild in here. There's no curriculum, so we're just kind of winging it, trying to start with colors and days of the week. What is part of a sandwich? Bread. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. Some students know a lot more English than others, so we have to kind of like work with it, but it's fun. 11? AM? AM? What do we do at 11? Eat? 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 11? 11? One more time. 11? 11? A? A? M? Who can draw 11 on the clock? I've been traveling around Southeast Asia for nearly two months. I've seen so many beautiful things as I've gone from city to city. Can you do 11? There's so much to learn when traveling, yes. seeing the land, the temples, the culture. But I learn the most from getting to know the people. Life is very different everywhere I go. They all have their own versions of struggle and their own types of happiness. Places like Cambodia are very impacted by the lack of tourism. It may not seem like a big deal, but simply learning to speak English can enable someone to get a better job, have a better life, and impact the family for generations. I'm glad I was able to spend some time teaching the kids to speak English. <laughs> Tomorrow, no school. Enjoy the break. Perfect girl. Sunday swim. I know. 
Bye bye students. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Have a great weekend. All of you take care. Bye. Bye. Be careful with Komodo's dragon. <laughs> Be careful with, with the snakes. Je vous aime. Je vous aime. What is Jebusem? I love you. That's I love you. Oh. No, I'm waiting. You okay? Okay. It's a full-size bike. That's a big bike. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>